SMU student is suing the university. She claims the university did not do enough to protect her when she came forward with allegations that a football player sexually assaulted her. The school investigated and said there was insufficient evidence. Here's Kevin Reese. At the start of the school year, August of 2019, a female student says in a lawsuit filed Sunday that an SMU football player and resident in her dorm entered her room and said, you know why I'm here and continued to force himself onto her and raped her. You really can't tell us much about where she is, how she is, um, how she's doing now. I can tell you she's struggling and that this has been a hard road. Michelle Simpson Teagle is now the woman's attorney who has filed suit against SMU for what she says the university did not do. She has not been heard or validated by the school that she loves. Um, and that she thought would protect her. In the lawsuit where the football player is not mentioned by name and where the female student is identified only as Jane Doe, they claim the university failed to adequately investigate the event when she reported it in September, failed to protect her from bullying and harassment that she says followed as the football player continued to live in the same dorm, and that the university's Title IX office told her after completing its investigation that there was insufficient evidence. A decision the woman's attorney says came only after the football season was over. She was waiting on some sort of decision and some form of justice that she didn't get. An SMU spokesperson told WFAA that the university does not discuss pending litigation and any responses will be filed with the court and directed us to the university's detailed processes for sexual assault investigations available online for students and faculty at SMU. Meanwhile, this is the same attorney who represented victims in the sexual assault scandal at Baylor uh, University. Universities do often protect their athletes, and that has been a widespread problem at universities around this country. And the latest allegations now include SMU. In Dallas, I'm Kevin Reese.